guys, what is going on? Welcome back. As always, I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here and you're not a What Shall We Do Next to Kid and you want to become one, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button right now. We're on the road to 41,000 subscribers, and I would enjoy it if you joined me on this journey. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. Today, we're officially on episode 20 of Paranormal America. That's right, episode 20. We're almost halfway there. Episode 20 of Paranormal America, traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east and looking at all the crazy stuff that's happened in each state along the way. Which currently brings us to, you guessed it, Missouri. I had to think for a second then, man, I'm just not here today. Missouri. But before we get started on the story, we have to jump right over to, say it with me guys, Paranormal America. <laughs> Welcome to Paranormal America. And today we are talking about the urban legend of Molly Crenshaw. Now, the urban legend of Molly Crenshaw was passed down through generations, mostly in the St. Charles County area. Now, the story is about a Jamaican witch who was apparently into voodoo and witchcraft and all the crazy woo She was a freed slave. She was able to come and live in the United States and she actually lived in St. Charles County, Missouri. Now, this witch was well known. She was apparently visited by a lot of people who were from the, the same village as her. These people would ask her to perform spells on them or create a magic potion for them. And she used to do a lot of things for different people. Now, this is going back to the late 1800s when witchcraft was a no-no in the United States. Now, during one of the winters, the winter was so harsh that it killed off all the crops, it killed off all the vegetation and stuff that farmers were growing on their fields. Now, in today's world, we would just say that's that's life, that's the weather. It's been a bad year, what can I say? But back in those days, it was nope, this is definitely witchcraft. I bet you anything it's that Molly Crenshaw. So, what did the village people do? That's right, they formed a mob and they went on a witch hunt after Molly Crenshaw. They completely blamed her for the winter say what upon catching her she did put on a curse on anybody who was to lay hands on her but what did the crazy mob do anyway they all put their hands on her they kidnapped molly cranshaw and they tortured her and killed her by cutting her body into there's two different stories versions of this story some people believe that she was cut into an a million different pieces like her arms or her legs her head everything was cut off the other version of the story is just simply that she was cut in half at the waist the village people then buried her body parts in separate places so that she could not return from the dead with a vengeance they believed that if they buried her body in its entirety she would return from the dead to get revenge. Now, it is said that all these years later, year by year, inch by inch, her body parts are slowly wiggling closer and closer together, hoping that they will meet again, creating the full body of Molly Cranshaw, so that Molly can return from the dead as a walking dead zombie and get revenge on the town. Now there is a story of a group of kids who who thought it would be a cool prank or a cool idea to go to a cemetery where apparently her body is buried. Uh, I don't know which part of the body, but apparently her body is buried there. They went to the cemetery at night and they thought it would be funny, funny to steal her headstone. The very next day, all of those teenagers were found impaled onto a fence with spikes on the top. They were all dead. Now, there's a lot of different versions about the story, but this is the one that I read and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you live in Missouri and you've heard this story, Missouri, Missouri let the, what? 
Who? What now? Bye, Felicia. If you live in Missouri and you've heard of the story, drop it in the comment section. Don't be slow. Hurry. What? What? Sick beat, man. I know, man. Peace on the streets, yo. What up? Anyway, guys, I'm not entirely sure if it's a true story. <clears throat> oh, man. I definitely got some gastro problems today, guys. I've been slurping down that Pepto-Bismol all day. Um, some serious heartburn, if you know what I mean. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, I'm not entirely sure if this is a true story or not, or if Molly Crenshaw even existed. I don't know. I just found the story. I thought it was creepy, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. That's what this channel's about, sharing creepy stories with you, whether they're true or not. Question of the day, guys. Do you believe this story is true or false? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. Magicatable! Is the story of Molly Cranshaw a true story? Better not tell you now. <sighs> and as you guys know, I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day. We like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that you don't have to go to school anymore and you can take over the world and do whatever you want with that powerful knowledge. Use it wisely though, guys. Use it wisely. And today's random fact of the day is did you know if you drop an egg in water and it floats, that means it's a bad egg, so don't be eating that. Don't be doing that. What's that? What's that all about? Don't eat that. If you see your mom go to cook you an egg and she puts it in the water and it floats, tell her, no, mom, I don't want to eat that. That is all for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, slap that like button and let's see if we can go for three whole likes on this video because that would make me super happy. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams, y'all.